So it is less than 24 hours until we go cycling. Super excited, can't believe that it's finally happening. Um, but as you may see, I'm still in France. So uh, heading back tonight, my flight's at I'm back in the UK at about 8 p.m. and we're looking at a 4 a.m. start tomorrow. Luckily I got my bike packed, everything's ready to go. Can't wait to hit the road. Um, get this trip underway. Super excited to, to start the first part of the journey, um, which is gonna be big, 200K across the UK. Luckily it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. Um, and then get into Europe. So first gotta finish this and then uh, rush to the airport, get on a flight and uh, get on the bike, which will be my home for the next 20 days or something like that. 4.54 in the morning. You've got plenty of time in 5.39am. How are you feeling, Sam? Feeling good, a little bit nervous. Feeling fueled by adrenaline which is ideal really, because it was only a couple hours sleep and now we're on our own. So we are now officially on our own. <laughs> this is our only means of transportation now for the next 20 so-ish days. At Silverstone, main entrance. We should, we should get cycling, <laughs> shouldn't we Sam? We really should. Yeah, let's get on road. Where are we going, Ollie? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> we are on an insane time restraint to get to the ferry, and Ollie's taking us through a field. <laughs> this is not how I expected my Wednesday morning to be. Sam, do you want to update everyone on, no. on what just happened? Oh, Canute wants to send it to a river. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened in the. What happened in the river, Sam? Well, I got cleats on and I, I came to a stop and then I, I fell over. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm wet. Oh, it's soggy and <laughs> it's going to squelch everywhere. <laughs> Everything of mine is soaked. <laughs> it's all my clothes. <laughs> oh my. That is so wet. <laughs> yes. Hey, 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 hey. Better start to the day than yesterday. What? What are we, what? Day two. <laughs> Just arriving into the Netherlands. It'd be good today if we could uh, we could get to the into the Belgium border, past the Belgium border. Um, minimum, we should be on the border by by the end of today. And for the next 130 kilometers, there is an elevation gain of 20 meters. So the Netherlands is pretty flat. <laughs> My beauty! I see you take good care of your bike. I put that down very gently. It's just gone about half past three, so we're making really good progress. Um, just looking to get get done with today, uh, get a good rest tonight, try and get another really good night's sleep, and then into Belgium. But we'll see if we can cross into Belgium today and um, see how it goes. Morning, everyone. Day three. Just woke up after our first night in the tent. It's taken us two hours to pack it all up. How are you feeling, Sam? Feeling pretty low on energy, I must say. No time for that. It's 9 a.m. Ready to get on bike? Ready to get on my bike. Let's get on the bike. Super randomly, one of the first towns we've come to, I started to recognize it. And there's a go-kart track near here called Genk um, in Belgium. 
and super randomly, I used to eat in that restaurant. Complete coincidence, did not look at that on the route before. I like Genk, it's a good track, and that was a good restaurant. I ate there before I was vegetarian. There's a lot of steak in that restaurant. We've done 100 kilometers, well, 98, and we're trying to find somewhere to stay. There's no B&Bs, no hotels, everything is full for the weekend. I don't understand how that is possible. All the campsites are fully booked, so I guess we're just going to sleep in our tent in the middle of some field. And how did you enjoy camping last night, Ollie? I did Ollie? not enjoy <laughs> camping last night. <laughs> Do you want to tell them the good news, Ollie? We may have found somewhere to stay. Uh, someone on couch surfing has welcomed us, hopefully, into their home. Uh, a few k's off route, but that's better than sleeping in a sleeping bag at the side of the road, so we'll take it. It is uh, day four, We've left our couch surfing house. Lovely night there. Got over a thousand meters of climbing to do today. Hay fever's starting to kick in, so love that as well. It's great. Oh man, it's hot. We're on the biggest hill so far, and it just doesn't seem to start. 6% incline, which is, I really don't think a lot. For us, it's a lot. So just gonna keep on going, keep on going. Who fought this trip, man? Who fought this trip? <laughs> our first checkpoint is on the sign. We've seen a sign with our first checkpoint on it. Spa. Which means we're close, right? That's that's a that's a big part of the trip though. It's been really, really tough. Feels like we're making no, uh, no progress. Like just slow moving, tired. I think we, uh, we underestimated this part of the trip, that's for sure. We're gonna get to the Nürburgring today, which is track number three. Let's get on road. Uh, right under this bridge, there was a little dotted line that said we were going to Germany. Right, okay, Sam just, Sam just ruined the shot. There's a lot of singing going on. across Europe and it's been a pretty tough day. It was easy and then it wasn't easy and then suddenly all these hills came out of nowhere again. Ollie's a bit grumpy. Yeah, I don't like hills. We can <laughs> check number three up so. That's circuit number three. Sam's done his favourite thing, and he's uh, he's crashed the drone after doing some great, great bridge shots on this viaduct that we've just crossed. He um, he decided to finish it by just flying it into a tree. He appears. <sighs> well, <laughs> I've got no more aerial footage now. Ah, <sighs> that's not ideal. Saarburg in Germany. It's on the west side, on the south near France. Uh, it's starting day seven um, of our trip. I stayed in our hotel last night because it rained right at the end of the day um, and we had no way to dry our stuff then. Sam is just here. 
making uh, a coffee with our AeroPress kit. Gonna have a coffee and get on the road. Postcard. No, it's not. This is something else. Day something. Eight, nine, seven in that region. We're in Strasbourg right now. Um, it's about 7.30. Feeling pretty tired. Sam made us coffee with our AeroPress. Big day today, really big. It will be our second biggest day, I think, because we're gonna go from Strasbourg, imagine the imaginary map, all the way down 130 kilometers to Bern. And then we'll be in Switzerland. We've got nowhere to stay again. This is way worse than the other time as well. It's way later in the day. There is way less options. It's a bank holiday in Switzerland or something. So every hotel is fully booked. Every camping site is fully booked. Every hostel. We don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, this is mad stress. Have you forget you in the tent? Yeah. <laughs> ah. What have you woken up to, Ollie? I hate camping. I've just gone to my bike. <laughs> All right, and a bird's done its morning toilet on my bike. The trees are, are spicy. <laughs> the air is spicy. My eyes, I cannot, I was crying all night. Not because of the position I was in, just because the air is, is alive. I want to get to a lake. Just cleanse. Oh, hey, sir. Do you want some lemonade? So tired now. I'm going swimming. It's a miserable one. So, annoyingly, the route was uh, closed there. I don't know why they closed the cycle path, so we had to sit on a van for 25 minutes. It did not take that long. So as I was saying, um, there's, there's another train coming. We, we had to sit on a van, they closed the path. So now we're four kilometers down the road through a few tunnels, still by the lake and the lovely mountains. Six kilometers to go to our accommodation for the night, which has a hot tub. And I am so cold, I want to sleep inside now. Is closed. 
So we're going to do the smallest amount on the train just to get under the mountain and then uh, make up for the lost distance somewhere in Italy. <laughs> We made it. We've made it. If you can't tell by the iconic banking that we are sat on. And we've just taken a little moment here to reflect on everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, it's a big accomplishment to finally get here, but you're not too sure what to feel. 17 days since we left, 14 days of cycling, and uh, roughly 1,600 kilometers. Now we're here, so yeah, I don't know how to feel. Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel happy. Yeah. I mean, we've done such a big thing and I just don't. I'm happy that we did it. Sad it's over. When you start going, it feels like you've got an eternity ahead of you. And then as it comes around again and you wrap it up, it just seems like it's disappeared. Like it's over like that. Like it just seems like yesterday we like sat getting off the van, the frigging camper van in Silverstone to leave to come onto this trip. In the fog, 5 a.m. And now it's 3 p.m. in sunny Monza, 17 days later. Luckily, I know a great pizza restaurant near here and that will boost my mood. We're just taking a moment now to, yeah, appreciate what we've accomplished, I think. I think we'd Silverstone, Zolder, Spa, Nürburgring, and now Monza. Seven countries. Seven countries. It's a long way. Just don't look at the flight. It only takes two, <laughs> two hours, hours to get here. <laughs> As uh, the crow flies. And it took us two weeks. <laughs>